What's up, it's Jared from Vandalistica Vlogs, and today I thought I'd make a video that didn't involve me making computer music that nobody likes. Uh, the other day, I got a little message from Google saying that Google Play Store, the music part of it, was going to be absorbed into YouTube. And to be honest, I was not, I wasn't that thrilled with it. I kind of want to, I, I like how, how the Play Store works now. I've been buying music digitally now for six years or so, I think. I can't really remember the last time I bought a physical CD. And especially now with the fact that, you know, what would I do with a CD? I, I, I could play it in my Xbox, but I mean, like, my laptop doesn't even have a CD drive. I mean, I've got a Blu-ray player that plays CDs, I guess, but the majority of the time when I'm listening to music, it's out and about, right? This is what, I'll show you what we do. So we're, we're here, we're on the Google Play Store now. We go to the music tab. And we see this, your new home for music. So we go click into here, um, and it gives us the following for any of my vision impaired viewers. It says, YouTube Music is the new home for your music. Starting in September, we will close the music store on Google Play. And starting in October, users will begin losing access to the Google Play Music app. To keep your Play Music library, including your purchases, you can transfer to YouTube Music or download any music that you've purchased via Google Takeout. Blah blah, blah 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 blah. And I'm like, you know, whatever. I don't want to lose the music that I've that I've paid for, so I just went ahead and downloaded. Yeah, I, I know um, it's way early. It's only like the 17th of August at the time of recording this video, so. Um, I'm super duper early, but I figured better to get it over and done with now than potentially forget about it and like lose um, albums that I've already paid for, right? And to be honest, I, mean, I, I don't really have that much music. Okay, so we did all of that. Now we come to YouTube Music. This is what I've listened to recently. Uh, Big Takeover by Bad Brains. Great song. Can't Spell Slaughter Without Laughter, which is also a great song. Uh, fight me, uh, some knife party. So, I mean, here's the thing. YouTube music, uh, as far as I can tell by, you know, going through it and checking all options and things you can do, it's basically Spotify. Uh, difference being is when you come into the library, uh, install YouTube music, blah, 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 I've already done that actually. Um, you come into the library and it has, or it ought to have, where is it? It's in here somewhere. Also, that was Tom McDonald's should check it. Ah, here we go. Oh, no. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's happening right now. Okay, now I don't know where my stuff is. <laughs> but somewhere in here is the music that I own, right? That I've bought from Google. Now, the problem is that when I've looked through this, let's say for some unknown reason, I wanted to buy some music from Neo. So I'll go to Neo, okay? Now, I can subscribe to his music channel. I can choose radio, which... See, because the, the thing with this is that a lot of the songs that it pulls down for you are actually videos on YouTube, but, but just, just playing through the YouTube, YouTube music, um, whatever it is, right? So, uh, I'm not going to play anything because I need that email from, from YouTube about, uh... People claiming things. I mean, I'm, I'm not, not even monetized, monetized. it just annoys me to get that email, to be honest. What it seems as though you are unable to do is buy music. So we can play that, we can play that next, we can add it to a queue, add it to a library, which is pretty much just like uh, adding it to a playlist on you, adding a video to a playlist on YouTube, right? Or add to library, add to playlist. It's that's kind of the same thing, I don't know why that's even a thing. You could go to the album, which would be this album. You can't buy it. Point being, since this has become this, you can't purchase music anymore through Google. Um, what you can do 
is you can pay for a subscription to YouTube Music, which, to be honest, Google's been pushing since I started using it, which is basically uh, like uh, paying for premium Spotify, right? But what if I just want to buy one album? Like, what if I specifically want one thing? I want and kind of expect that I should be able to pay for the one album that I want and have it and keep it and possess it, play it whenever I want, right? This model seems to be you pay every month for everything. You can have what you want, but you have everything else as well. And if I only wanted to get one thing, then I am paying into perpetuity for that one thing instead of paying for it once. So, now what do I do for music? Uh, Amazon does digital music, but I haven't looked into it. I mean, I wouldn't be too surprised if it was the same, or if not, going towards the same thing. Streaming. I mean, we already do it for, you know, Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, um, and all that kind of stuff, and now it seems like music. I don't know. To be honest, I'm not as pissed off as I was. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not as pissed off now as I was when this, uh, I first realised. <laughs> what was happening? So uh, this is probably a little bit uh, more <laughs> downbeat um, than you might expect, but it really does. It really does annoy me. Like I don't understand. I don't understand the point of it. Like he's seriously pushing me towards going to a physical location and buying a physical album. And then doing what we had to do in the old days, which was rip that album, and then somehow get it onto your MP3 player, or then eventually it became phone. I used to do that all the time. I'd buy, I'd buy the CD that I wanted, and then understanding that I'm not going to carry a dang CD player with me everywhere, I would just rip it. You know, free little media player that everybody uses. It's simpler, it's easier, it's what you wanted, right? And now they're like, no, let me know what you think in, in, in the comments below. Um, let me know if you had the option, would you prefer to buy what it is you wanted and not have to pay over and over again, or does a subscription service suit you because you enjoy listening to and exploring a lot of different musics? Uh, musics? <laughs> Genres, let's say. Because I can see that being, you know, cool for somebody. They pay like, I don't know, 12 bucks, 15 bucks a month. And you can listen to whatever you want, whenever you want. Um, explore some, you know, different stuff. Thanks for watching. If you are not subscribed, why not subscribe? Just click the button. It doesn't hurt anybody. Um, I won't annoy you very often because I make videos probably like once every 1.34 month. Um, and uh, it makes your boy feel good. God bless. Look after each other and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.